guys. Welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the junk that we have curated throughout the week. This week, it's about half thrifted, half thrifted out of my basement because <laughs> um, we're in the process of clearing out the basement to turn it into a playroom. And by process, I mean, it's been a couple of months and we're still slowly working it's on it. It's not been a couple of months. Well, since we first decided. Well, since we first, yeah, since we first decided, but it's only been like, when did you go to Arizona? That was the weekend I cleared it out and then you left. But yeah, but we've been talking about longer than that. Oh, I yeah. don't, anyways, point being, um, this decor I have not used in two years or more. And so I've decided to flush it out and send it on its merry little way because we're always like, because of what we do for a living, we're always coming up with new decor and design. And so I just like to sell it and then I buy new stuff. It's like a good rotation system. So we're going to show these first. Jamie's right private collection. Jamie's private collection. Do you guys, have, if you've been here for any length of time, you remember when we did our master bedroom and we did that big salvage turquoise frame. And then inside of that, we had a bunch of botanicals that we printed out at a print shop. And then I put dark wax on these frames. I have 12 of them and I'm selling them for $9.95 each. So first item up for grabs. That's a good deal because the frames are worth more than that. If you want to sell, if you want to shop, just go to jamierayvintage.com. Click Saturday Thrift Haul. Caitlin is on here. She will be dropping links as always and answering any questions that we don't get to, but... Let me show you these botanicals. I'm going to show you all of botanicals, them. Botanicals, botanicals. It was actually a decent amount of work to get them all printed out and to dark wax everything. The hardest part was hanging them. Ty and I actually hung them. It in. was a really cool look and something I hadn't seen done anywhere else. And I still am a little sad. We haven't really decorated The our frame bedroom. is still at the shop. Like, we could still recreate that. Everybody's just saying, hello, Donna shared. Thank you, thank you. We will be sending out more goodies next week to people that share. We pick out two random sharers every week on Facebook and we send them something fun. And I think um, last week, I can't remember who won, I shared it on uh, Facebook and they've already emailed Caitlin. But today I know that Larissa sent out the goodie packages. So, all right. Crystal says, I always watch your videos of shopping. Never knew you guys went live. Yep, we go live every Saturday at 8.30. And um, Wednesday and... It says movie recording stopped. Stopped? That's weird. All right, hold Is on, the guys. card full? Is it full because you took the kids' pictures on it? No, this is a different card. Oh. But yeah, we do this every Saturday. Usually about half of it's sold by Monday, maybe a little more. And then um, throughout the next week, another 25% of it will usually sell. And then we put the rest in our shop. And we sell enough every week in our shop. We always got to restock. All right. So I'm almost through 12 <laughs> of these now. <laughs> I can't believe you showed each one of them. They're all cool. <laughs> I can't believe you listed them individually. <laughs> um, I didn't. I said picked at random. Oh. So $9.95, you get one of them. Which one? Depends on which, <laughs> how they're stacked. I mean, if you buy them all, you guarantee you'll get the one you want. <laughs> all right. So, Zeb, this is actually, I think, one of the best deals. It's terracotta. And it's thick. And it's thick. And Cooper was over here earlier, and he said that's like a, at least three-person deep urn. Probably. It's big. That's a joke around here. Because we buy a lot of urns. Because, I mean, I guess it's like a... We, we there's like your single urn and then your your couple urn and then we got family urns this, this is, alone probably weighs a, a couple small family pounds. urn and was a dollar fifty you know how people have like tombs or burial plots yeah it's a ginger jar we're gonna family paint urns. it zhuzh it up maybe iod it i don't know um and it's gonna be 29.95 and just so you know some of these items will probably get the new iod stuff because yes. we have to do we have to use the new IOD on our video that we're going to put film Monday and put out Tuesday. So many of these items will have some new stuff on them. And I'm we're excited. going to buy some more junk to put IOD on. For sure. So. All right. I'm going to keep carrying stuff over how here. How could all of those sell so fast? Did they sell already? Are all of the pictures gone? Let me double check on that for you, BB, because. No, they're still in there. Maybe not. Hold on. Let me refresh. No, they all still look there. The last thing that was sold that my phone is showing me. 
Taco is, shirt. Is the taco shirt. It's Where's way that? up there. Let's see if I can grab that. Leslie bought this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Susan says, I look more beautiful with every show. Uh, truth be told, this is yesterday's makeup, and I slapped some powder over it and some highlighter. Does wonders. All right, this is the extra large uh, yellow tacos, lime, and sunshine shirt. Super cute. It was $9.95, and Miss Leslie bought it. All right. So we uh, we got the chicken coop done today. The chickens are in there. I just went and got finished moving them over. We tried to move them in the middle of the day. I knew better than that, but Jack wanted to try to move them. So I let him chase the chickens around for a little bit. Um, we got about half of them over to the new coop because I'm going to let them stay the night in there um, so that they can learn that this is where home is. But I, I went over just now and finally got the rest of them over after they were already like asleep and roosting because there were just some we weren't going to catch. They, they're they very good at running. All right. We could say that this is urn. Looks like it's got the dreaded uh, rings on there that Jamie doesn't love. I don't know how I snuck those past her. Um, this was uh, a dollar. Because I don't want to rip them off. Oh. Oh, I don't know why. Was it not active? It was not active on anything. All right, guys, the botanicals are now live. Botanicals are up. Go. I'm sorry about that. But this is going to get a new paint job. It's a little dark, a little heavy, a little too orangey yellow in the in the cracks. So we'll uh, we'll take care of that. Make it French country or farmhouse, one of the two. And, and the difference is very slight on like what is French country and what is farmhouse. <laughs> It could be either or it, at any moment. The ideas will collide. All right, Caitlin, now that I made those live, can you drop the link um, to the botanical prints? Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, that one did not um, go on all the channels, which like, anyways, channels like a back end thing. All right, let's move to these um, candlesticks. So for whatever reason this week, candlesticks are normally like $2 each, maybe three. These were 75 cents. 75 cents. 75 cents. 75 These were cents. 75 cents too. But 75 if, you, cents. if you guys have been here with us for a while, you know that we do not sell things based off of what we pay. We sell them based off of what they're worth. So these are going to be $12.95. These look to be hand turned and they're going to get painted and they're going to be $12.95 each. Possibly even a high school shop project. I don't which, know. Look at the. Oh, uh, yeah. They do have the inserts. I don't in there. know. Maybe but, not. Oh, no, those are... Oh, this says this product made with safe paint. We care. So they must use safe paint, which is actually farmhouse finishes, to stain it. Yeah. So, anyways. We carry that. These are going to be $12.95 <laughs> each once they're painted. All right. These ones are cool because it's like a tiered set. Uh, it's pretty rare we find three in the wilds like this. Every now and then we'll find like a onesie, twosie here and there. But to find all three at $0.75 cents each, that's that's pretty fun. Yeah, I believe they are. Did you give them the price on these ones? $39.95. Yeah. We're for selling the three. them. We're going to not break up the set. This, I'm surprised They'll you're selling. They'll be painted. I know we have more eggs than this, but this was our egg basket back when we only had five birds, four or five birds. <laughs> it's from my private collection. This is from the private collection. It's $14.95, um, but it's wire basket in the shape of a hen. And it's this is held. Even though we only had four or five eggs, I mean, what's four eggs times like five years <laughs> a day? <laughs> it's real cute, but um, it doesn't fit our. This is what we do now. We don't. We can't even fit the eggs in there. And I forgot the eggs from today in the barn. There's like yeah, we have ten, twice as there's many. There's like twelve of them. Because our rotation is, we put the eggs in here. When they're all gone, then we get the eggs from the pantry and rotate them in. So we just know that we we're eating. Uh, the oldest eggs first. But this is this is going to be fourteen ninety five, I believe, is what that says. All right. Okay. Some things must be working because there are things that have sold. So. So this is a terracotta pot. Um, Shurich, Shurich, Keramik. It's German. Eight three eight West Germany. Germany. It's a clay baker. It's glazed inside. You could use it for like bread or roasting a chicken Got a or rooster on top. And pronounce then, that word. No, I can't. Shem, <laughs> shemmer top. Shemmernoff. Shemmernoff. I don't know. I can't. Either way, you 
it's it's How it's cool and it's got the lid. And wide are the botanicals? That's a good question. Mm. Let me get the. I think they're eight by ten prints. Oh, I have the hiccups. Do you want to know like the whole frame? The frame or the Probably. print itself? So it is nine and three quarter inches wide and um, 11 and three quarter inches tall. So I don't know if I mentioned it. This was three bucks. Jamie may have said it while I was showing it. I didn't hear if she did. And it's nine and a half by seven and a half on the inside of the frame. So that's the frames. Sorry. That's separate from what I'm holding. That's the frames. Um, but this is $34. Yeah, I love that it's from West Germany. I love that it has a rooster on top of it. I actually didn't know it was so valuable. I just bought it because I know people are always looking for clay bakers for their like artisan breads and for roasting things. So it's in good shape. So basically 10 by 12. Yes, you are correct, Cynthia. Oh, Caitlin dropped the link. So if you wanted the botanical prints, they are there now. Okay, tobacco basket with some floral in it. This, I don't even know where we had this in the house. It is from the house. Where did we keep this? The front, the front door. Oh, it was springtime front door wreath. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I made it with, uh, what are these called? There's a word for those flowers. I don't know. Poppies? Sure. Um, it's going to be $24.95. Yep. And from the private collection. Collection. <laughs> and it, you know it's going to last because it lasted on my door, and those poppies are on there still. So I did some good hot glue work. Do I look and sound like the vertigo guy? I am much better. I still have to be careful when I bend over. Went to the chiropractor yesterday. Went to the ENT. Helped. He did okay. Went to the chiropractor yesterday. Although I was probably on the mint, like starting to get better anyways. But the chiropractor did a lot. Like when I woke up this morning, I didn't fall to the floor. So definitely vertigo is improving. This is also from the private collection. It's going to be 34. This is just a big tobacco basket. It's just a little tiny chip down here. Uh, it's been at our it. house. We're going to paint it. Um, so I had somebody had a question. She's like second request to buy something. So anything that, because I just probably knew here, anything that we're selling, we don't do comments to buy. You just have to go to jamierayvintage.com and you can shop there and check out straight through there. It handles everything, shipping it's really easy process. Otherwise, it would be. I can't we used imagine. to kind of do it like that, and it was just way too many emails after the live stream if stuff didn't sell and lots to process. So now it's just on the website listed in the, the thrift hall. Yeah. So if there's something you want to purchase, just go to jamierayvintage.com and make sure you spell it J A M I. Click Saturday Thrift Hall. And if it's still available, it'll sort like new to old and then it'll have all the sold stuff on the bottom so it'll be like on the first few pages all right this is another private collection or did you thrift this no it's a private collection i decorated with it for a few years but you know me i can't keep it all no it could go to an episode of hoarders real quick we're we're on the verge of that i can't tell is this you know 34 dollars like or 13 dollars everything's crafting supplies everything's building materials it's not just that if somebody and you don't gives, get rid of good tools if somebody gives him something he feels the need to save it forever hey what did i use today something that was given to us it was given to us today i know and i used it today i felt real good about just it just saying like if you haven't used it if you have not if it's decor and you haven't put it up in the last few years take a picture of it send it along what's the real price of that i can't read your hand 13.95 okay Oh, Sally Von Zwell, she says, tomorrow is the Super Bowl here. The stadium is about five miles from our house. We are avoiding the traffic. Oh, man, I, I would, would just, be too. I would make sure you got food for two or three days and shut the doors. <laughs> we are rooting for the Chiefs, yes? I am. You know what I did to prep for the Super Bowl? Really quick, let's talk about the Super Bowl. I don't think anybody fast. here is really that interested, except for um, our Packers fans. But the Packers aren't playing. No. But also... I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Eliza's rooting with me, and so is Redrick and Jack. Harrington thinks that the Eagles are going to win. Here's why I'm rooting for the Chiefs. The Eagles don't have Patrick Mahomes. That's all I'm going to say. And you know what I did today when we were at the Costco? I bought a new fluffy blanket so that way I can sleep cozy in the corner of the big couch and nap while they all watch the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't hate the Super Bowl, but I'm unlikely to watch it the whole time. It does kind of drag on sometimes. I'm like, 38 commercials later, this time out might be over. The Christmas church art, <laughs> church art looks like it is live. So 
If you can't find it, ask Caitlin. She might be able to drop you the link. I think this is thrifted. We're back to thrifted. Enamel, red enamel pot, white on the inside, black lip around. Got a chip. We love the chip. Um, I don't see what you paid for it though. Um, I think it was like two dollars. Didn't have a price tag on it. Uh, so we're selling it for nineteen ninety five. It's gonna get cleaned up. Day. It's a little. It's been handled. I'm excited because I don't find a lot of good enamel, and I love it. So we have three pieces tonight. Super these exciting. These were together. It looks like they yeah, were. Yeah, I need you to tighten up these uh, handles. Oh, they can be tightened. They're screws. Yeah, they're screws. And they were $2 each, and I'm selling them for $14.95. This one is black, and then we've got a really dark navy cobalt blue. I better do that right dusty. now while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, it's not going to um, happen. But, yeah, I was excited to find enamel because for whatever reason – like we can never find good enamel here, except for like the speckled campy type enamel, which I like, but this this is really my favorite. The puppy bowl. <laughs> That's so funny. I, you know, it's funny. We don't even watch the halftime show because it's usually questionable. So at our house that usually gets flipped off, not flipped off, but like turned off during halftime we eat and then we come back. Um, we'll see. I don't even know who's performing at the halftime show this oh, year. Oh, 19. What? Oh, I, I don't, don't know either. I, they've been trying to get like more family friendly the last few times. That's good because it's been a few times. It's like, what is going on here? But yeah, I, I, I can't confirm or deny what's going on. Oh, that might need like a spacer or something. Is it not tightening? Nope. And the screw is all the way down. Hmm. Oh, it lost its little plastic uh, bushing. Oh, can we get one of those in the store? I don't think so, but I'll figure it out. All right, we'll put it in the. Oh, what, we'll organize it later. Just don't forget, we got to fix that before it goes out. We're taking our own personal stacks to church with us. I like it. Brenda says, I need some salt wash. Girl, I will sell you some salt wash. All right, so this. Oh, I did not realize. Is that scratched or broken? It's got like a little cracky do in it. It doesn't have a price on it. Did I'm you not? Just, I don't know. Did you not sell it? I don't know. Caitlin, if you see this on there, can you just uh, draft it? And then All right. That, that way I can put in the listing. This is a, this was a dollar at the thrift store. It's metal. We like them when they're metal. It because it's awesome. It's in good. It's got a good paint job on it already. Um, we're selling for $18.95. Oh, actually, you know what? Scratch that. We are painting it. That one's kind of scratchy. It's got bat authentic battle oh, damage. I thought that was metal. Is that terracotta? It is terracotta. I thought so it was metal. We we will paint it, but we'll just paint oh, it to look the game. same. Only better. We'll do a white distressed finish, but we'll fix this and make it look good. Man, I am like falling at, like like did I even look at this stuff when I was photographing it? Or thrifting it? But it was cute. I might have grabbed that. That's all right. It's gonna get painted. <laughs> 1895. So this is a Jamie Find. Oh, the plate wasn't put up. Well, that's good. Caitlin, do you, we have this one? Can you put in the listing that this one will be painted? Because we're going to fix it and paint it. All right. Um, I'm not sure what these are for. Oil and vinegar. Oh, well, those. How do you they tell like which little, one's which with them both being so dark? Listen, I don't know. But aren't they cute? They're like little I Dream a Genie situation. They are. Hey, Debbie from Debbie's Design Diaries in the hey, house. Hey, what's up, Debbie? All right. All right. All right. There those are. They were like two dollars. I'm trying. Oh, okay. Was there no price on them? Twenty six ninety five. Twenty six ninety five. We've got a fun little rooster. I saw one of these under the glass. Same style rooster. They wanted like fifteen dollars for it at the thrift store. Um, I don't know what was special about that one. This one was a buck, and we're gonna sell it for eighteen ninety five. I'm assuming we're leaving it as is. Yeah. Are we gonna? I like it the way it okay. is. It's crackled. It's the right coloring. It's cottagey. Kind of looks like our rooster. Our rooster is white and he's got like green and black and blue feathers on his tail. But he's like white and speckled like this. Fred. Fred? That's his name. It does look like our rooster, Fred. You know what I love about Fred? What? He has no spurs. I didn't know that until I had to carry him to the coop tonight. And I'm like, I'm checking him. I'm like, does this guy have spurs? Because roosters know how to use their spurs. And he has none. How does he have none? It's like little roundy nubs on the back. Do you think he's defective? I think he's probably been bred to be like that. Oh. Well, thanks, Fred. <laughs> he was supposed to be a hen, and he wound up being a rooster. And now he doesn't have spurs. So winning all the way around. <laughs> all right. Rolling pin. Love the age on this one. It's 
it's hard to replicate wood that has been used and oiled and used and oiled and this is a foley rolling pin yeah this is a dollar i didn't Great realize price. that was a foley <laughs> yeah so it's like wood burned over here on the end i don't know if the camera will focus it debbie's got some rolling pins for me whoop, whoop. um but this one's 14.95 still has its bearings in there <laughs> Almost lost an eye with that one. All right. If you saw the short or you saw the thrifting video, I paid $7 for this. I thought I didn't have my black light with me. And I'm like, I'll take a chance. Maybe it'll be uranium glass. Maybe it won't. We kind of suspected that it was a little newer hand or craftsmanship. Um, everything was like machine precise. Um, but anyway, it is not, but it's just kind of fun, especially for spring and Easter and flowers. I feel like it's a skipping basket. Is it a skipping basket? I'm just worried. You that... paid seven dollars for it. You skip with it. All right, I'm worried that the hand will fly off. Oh no, it's sturdy. <laughs> Did you tell me it's 1995? Um, yeah, it is. Sure, 95. yeah, it's 1995. Gotta get those knees up. I. They were a dollar from the 50s, Debbie. We can't get any 50s rolling pins around here for a dollar. That's awesome. I right. uh, I have to, I really do need to start stretching. Odilia Volan told me. <laughs> oh, this the, is good. Chair, I will film it for you. The chair jump off at, uh, is it like The their, dad jump off. Is so it their if, showcase If you've never had cheerleaders, I got to explain it to you. At the end of every cheer competition, while they're waiting for the judges to tally, they have a jump off where the cheerleaders do their jumps where they like jump in the air and touch their toes. And we went to a cheer competition for Eliza this year, and they had a dad jump off. And it was hilarious. And Zeb wouldn't do it because he's... I got there late. They were already almost done. He, you could have ran out there. I was good. Anyways. <laughs> and Odelia, they're having their cheer um, showcase this week where they just showcase all their routines just for friends and family. And they're doing a dad jump off. And she volunteered Zeb. So he will be doing cheer jumps. I got to get stretched out. I gotta start stretching and jumping. It's been a yeah. long time. I promise I will. I haven't even you. been on a trampoline in like five years. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> skip, skip, knees up. They said your skipping was good. My knees were up. If you're just tuning in because we have a few people on here that are new and you're wanting to shop, you just have to go to jamierayvintage.com and click Saturday Thrift Hall. Everything is listed all in one place. Everyone's all right. Everyone's excited about this one. Um, yeah, everybody it's, was like, buy it. Cause I was like, would you have bought this for 75 cents? It's a, it's a double, uh, recipe holder. And it's got two of my least favorite things, Ivy and grapes. Ivy and grapes combined their powers like if, combined. If there could be two things that I always pass on at the thrift store, it's those things. However, I know that I can just sand off these little decals and I'm going to take a butter knife. And this, these grapes, they're going to get the butter knife. And then I'll paint it and they're make on, it They're on there good. Um, someone, someone had like little knobs or something on here. It was screwed into the wall. You <laughs> can... Cynthia says it's so me. But yeah, this is, uh, this is going to get a fun paint job. It's going to be awesome when we're done. It's already sold. So somebody believes, somebody has faith in me. Someone has the faith. They've seen me paint a few things. I don't know. You would have had to have been watching for a long time or gone back and watched older videos. Um, this wood is a frame I made. I don't remember even what we used it for. If I just made it and it was extra. No, I like had something But inside. the wood is from the Clifton house, which is my parents' old. It was, it was like the uh, everything like building. Like a boarding house. Well, it started out as like the uh i don't even remember but it was like the train station and the uh mercantile for the mine down in marincy arizona anyway my parents owned the building this there was an earthquake the city deemed it condemned and not safe to renovate so we went down and salvaged everything we could out of there um and this wood is made and from this that. this frame is from that that it's like the last little bit like i don't even it's all gone Long story short, it can be yours for the low, low price of $24.95. That was a short story long. $24 anyway, it's cool. It's a it's a fun frame. And I used it for a long time, but it's been down in the basement for two years, so it's got to move on. Okay, another item that's from the basement collection. It is a plant and a pot, $16.95, and you get both of them. Your mom loves these roses. She's like, they look so real every time I walk by. They don't smell real. No, they smell dusty. Yours for 
I'm assuming that this is from your collection since there's nope. no price on it. Did you thrift this? Yeah, so it was, it didn't have a price. This was the, th did you not watch my video that I put up this week? I don't think I did. I've been busy. You edited the last <laughs> half of it. I didn't watch the first so half. So this had like this weird plastic <laughs> pot on the top of it. And it was in the plastic section and I knocked the plastic pot off because they weren't meant to go together. And the price tag was on the pot. So I got this for a dollar and I'm selling it for $13.95. Just like a cute hobnail, little hobnail base. The bell, is this already sold? Is this yeah. gone? This it is a sold. cast iron bell. I'm not going to ring it because it'll probably hurt my ears. It was a dollar at the thrift store yeah. and we're selling it for $19.95. Are we repainting this? Yeah. Okay, because I was going to say, this is like someone just hit it with a brush and they're calling that distress. Is that paint on top of paint? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's not good. But great shape, great shape on the bell. It it's cast sold iron. quickly. Someone's been watching the reels and got excited and was waiting for we this. We do little to come sneaky up. peekies. So, all right. Um, somebody, somebody said, "Can I help them with something?" But then the comment left. If you need my help and I miss your comment, chances are your best option is going to be to email info at jamierevintage.com or send us a DM on Facebook. I will tell you, Caitlin a lot more efficient at answering questions or coming to us she's got them. a ticket system so, so if she, you, if you she really knows. want to respond email is your best bet um and it's super hard we like we we really do try to read the comments and and respond to them but there's 930 people watching right now and it's it's they flash by on well our and if you're on facebook there's also people on youtube and if you're on youtube there's people on facebook so there's actually more comments than you're actually seeing scrolling by all Thank right. you. Caitlin dropped that email link. Made in Japan, $2 at the thrift store. If you look it's... at the picture, it had something hot pink on it. It was just some candy. I washed it off. So It still has its spoon, which is rare. The daisies are so cute. Let me see if we can get that to focus up. Uh, I'm coming up. Debbie says they made valentines with the paper, our JRV valentines paper. Oh, yes. I'm excited to see them. what they did with that because she did like a... Valentine's paper bar. I mean, 1995. You never find it with all the pieces. It's pretty, especially on one this small. All right, let's let's move along. Did you make a video? Yes, Debbie just put a video up. It's a good one. I have not watched it. Check it out. Okay. Um, so these are from the Jamie collection. This is kind of like a wavy glass curvy vase and it's 1995 and this is almost like have you seen those old school um like barber shop they have the top on them and they're like wavy glass this is like that only without the top and it is 1695 both really great vases were coming up on spring and so i can never have enough vases in the shop all right also from the jamie collection these are the feet off of our uh, entertainment center under the framed TV in the family room. And it was too tall with these on. We got rid of them, put it down on the ground, and the feet. Why was it too tall? Because I hung the TV too low. No, because your TV's too big. <laughs> His 85-inch TV wouldn't fit between the the, the buffet that was and like... the ceiling unless we removed the feet. I, I'm not gonna be guilt. I'm not gonna feel guilty about that TV for a second. I built like this whole house with you, and that was like my reward at the end. You got a TV. <laughs> like, I, I got, got a big old wall, and I've been dreaming about this TV for like a year and a half. While I, I, I didn't out. really dream about a TV. <laughs> you know who watches that TV? The kids. Jack and Redrick. And then I watch football for on like Sundays. half an hour on Sunday before I go milk the cow. <laughs> so these are already sold, but they were $16.95 for all four. And then weren't there more feet than this, but we did something with them? No, there were only four feet. Four feet? That's a long span for four feet. It might have had two in the middle, but I don't think so. What would we do with two feet? I don't know. I saved them so that way whoever could buy them could have them because they wanted them. Yep. You it does know. still have uh, one of the nails in there. I'm not pulling that out. It's really, really stuck. I don't want to like split this wood, but they're cool feet. All right, next. All right, so this was going to be thirty nine ninety five, and I the, it belonged to Odelia. It's a jewelry box. Zeb and I painted it. She fell in love with it. We changed her color scheme, so she no longer has it. But I had to reduce it to twenty nine ninety five because the bottom drawer is broken. I mean, the drawer's not broken, but it used to have something in it for like rings. 
and she removed it because she stashed her Twix in here. There was a Twix in there. <laughs> So you yeah. know what the girls got priorities. So now okay? she, I mean, I don't know if that's a bonus or not a bonus because you could probably stash your Twix in here too. I don't know, but all the rest of the drawers are just fine. We did like a fun blendy paint finish, and then we stamped it with IOD stamps. Those on were here. the knob toppers. You can't even get the knob toppers anymore. And then this one, I can't remember which. I've got to go through my stamps at the shop because I don't remember this one. That one is like the lock and key. They have a stamp. Oh, the back plates. Yeah, the back plates. That's what there that's There we from. go. That's what it's called. Yeah. And then you open you up the sides. You some crackle on that and some blending. That's and it's just work. DIY paint. So I must have used a heat gun to get it to crackle. You did an A plus on that paint. I gun. used French Millinery, Farm Fresh, and White Swan. I'm Anyways, coming up close for this It can one. be yours for the low, low price of $29.95. This is just this is just pressed glass. It's not cut, but it's a really good job. I can't find any seams on it. They might be there if you really, really look, but I it's put that hard as a find. covered butter dish, but really it could be anything. It's kind of cloudy because it needs like a super scrub. But you can see how bright it is here in the middle. That's it cleans up good. We just need to scrub it. It's dusty. Probably been living in someone's garage forever on a shelf. Little Dawn and water and then also lemon oil really cleans up glass and it'll be sparkly and pretty. It's got a lot of beautiful detail on it. So did you give them the price on that? Uh, 19, oh, 1695. And I think we paid two bucks. Down. All right, deal. This is another really great deal. We have this cake plate that we picked up for $3. It's fluted. It's got a really great bottom that's also fluted, which means you could flip it upside down and make a punch bowl out of it. And it's $28.95. I do. love cake plates. They usually sell so fast that they don't hit the shop. But when they do hit the shop, I love to put like floral in them. That's how I display them. We're like half hour in and we're almost done showing stuff. We're going to get some stuff painted tonight, guys. We had under 50 items this week. Oh, that's why it's so fast. It was like 48. But... <laughs> well, usually we have closer to 60 and 70 sometimes a cheese ball dish that's perfect oh. sarah from ampers and unique gifts said that i like the like cheese it. ball i like to do cream cheese with um cheddar cheese with bacon and then put ranch dressing mix and mix that all up and then roll it in bacon and cheese where did you get this from it's got a weird five dollars so it was on it. it was not five dollars it must have been in their collectibles oh how much i did got you it pay for, for it? one dollar Oh, there's another one here. So it didn't sell in the collectibles for five dollars, but Tarnished I got it for silver nine ninety five. I'm gonna take this sticker off because I think I feel like the longer stickers are on there, they mess with the patina. All right, and you so can see like the halo where the stickers. Nine ninety five for that cute little candlestick. This is from the Jamie Ray collection, originally from the Joanna Gaines collection. It's a hearth and hand. I looked it up. They still carry quite a bit of value because you can't get them anymore, apparently. Oh, hang on. Um, and I probably paid 30 bucks for it and I'm selling it for 1995, but this was in our kitchen in our last house for years because I didn't have like an antique scale and I wanted a scale and this is a good one. It's nice and neutral. I now have an antique scale. So this one can get a new home. All right. You want to talk to him about your fun transferware you found? Yes. Tell them all about it. You know I love transferware. So this is Johnson Brothers. This is probably one of my favorite patterns I've found in a while. It's got birds and floral. It is not old, but it is Johnson Brothers. So they've been making dishes for a while. And you get two dishes for $18.95. And I paid $1 each for them. I love transferware. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a stencil that has birds and floral on it because I love transferware so much that I made stencils to replicate it, to put it on all the things. And then this is Ironstone. It's got kind of a scalloped edge. It's hostess tableware made in England. It was $1 and we're selling it for $14.95. And it's a, a larger dinner size plate. Like she really does love the transferware. I do. Like when we're in England, she... There was an entire, like, someone had, like, a set enough to, like, probably feed 12 people at once on it. And she's like, I don't think I can get that home intact, but I really want it. I always tell myself <laughs> that I'm not going to buy dishes because they're hard to ship back. And we always send And some I always back. buy the dishes. Because but usually the ones we get are, like, a pound or something at the fleet. Well, the, I try uh, to buy Ironstone because it's, like, more heavy duty. Yeah. And um, you can you could stack them inside of each other and then put wrap them in a sweater 
and ship them home. All right. This is hand wash only. It was $4 at the thrift store. Hold on. What was the original price, though? The original price was $62. $62. Then it was on sale for $45.99. From Williams Sonoma. We're going to paint it and do something cool to it, and it'll be $39.95. See, still a deal. It does have really cool routed edges and these handles, and it is solid wood. Like, it's yeah. a good piece. It's a hardwood. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. So, I mean, that's why it was $62 at Williams Sonoma. But I feel like painting it, we're going to zhuzh it up. We're going to make it awesome. Okay. The hardwood will still be underneath there. Don't worry. It's not going anywhere. Cute little Nico Japan dish. It does have chips. I put the pictures in the listing. I love it when they like decorate the bottom of the bowl. Like when you fill it with food, you're not going to see it. And the reason why I love that, let me tell you a little story. Story time. And then I'll give you the price. When I was a little girl, we used to have these nursery rhyme bowls. I wish I could find them. And my mom, okay, what is my least favorite thing to eat for breakfast that you make all the time? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. My mom would make me oatmeal and she put them in those bowls and I would have to eat all my oatmeal so I could find out which nursery rhyme was in the bottom of my bowl. So every time I see cute bowls with a decor on the bottom, it reminds me Your of- Your mom is brilliant. I just need to get nursery rhymes. If you and... give me nursery rhyme bowls, I will eat all my oatmeal so I can find out which one's in the bottom. All right, guys, we're on a mission now. <laughs> if you find some nursery rhyme bowls- I, I also mean... will enjoy cream of wheat in them too. So- See, I'm the opposite. I had to eat cream of wheat all the time. I don't love it. Your mom didn't rank it like my mom. Four dollars, and it's gonna be twenty one ninety five. But your mom makes some banging oatmeal. My mom does win in the oatmeal game. So I don't know what your problem was. <laughs> you are a little blurry. Oh, um, are we blurry? How about now? It does look like it's a little. Can blurry. you tap the screen? It's probably not the screen. It's probably the feed. How many people are watching? It's like it's focused on something else. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Did that work? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. It's probably trying to pick up this little plant. Deborah said, mmm, cream of wheat. See, my sister said, oh, this is not for sale. That's why there's not a tag on it. I had one of these a week ago. NFS. What? NFS. Yeah. Somebody bought it. And so I need these for the shop. It was 75 cents and they're like five bucks at Ikea. So I'm keeping this for the shop because I have a few things that would look cuter with that in it. So this is says Jack's on it. Jack's Pepin. It's for your table i believe no, it's in french. uh it's some fancy name jacques it's french yeah it's not jacks it's jacques so you say jack in french and um jacques pepin for surla table it's handcrafted and they actually are really rather expensive i think for four of them it's 49.95 and i'm selling that one for 9.95 i that just focus thought, i had no idea it was worth yeah it's focus i didn't know it was worth money when i bought it i was just like that's a cute mug so i bought it 9.95 it could be your mug He's a famous chef. Oh, nice. Well, he makes cute chicken mugs. This was $1.50. I wonder if a different, since he's a chef, I wonder if he's also a painter or if someone did that for him and he approved it. I don't know. You paint stuff and you're also a pretty good cook. I'm getting there. We yeah. had some delicious fish tonight on some lemon with rice. A pesto, with pesto cream sauce that we made with buttercups cream. And, and some of our canned tomatoes. Yeah, it was yummy. I made the salad. This and meal. I came up with the idea. I'm like, hey, Zeb, you want to make me this for dinner? I did want to make it for you for dinner because it sounded <laughs> delicious. <laughs> All right. Cake plate. This one is really cool on the bottom. It's kind of a unique design. A lot of times they're more diamond, and this is kind of over. I love the scallops. I, I'm obsessed with everything scallops. It makes them, like, make something that I kind of like into something I lot of like if it has scallops and it's $16.95. So a lot of times these have a dome. If we can find it, we'll sell them with the dome. But we've I, we have pretty good luck. They make great pedestals, risers, all sorts of stuff. Um, it was $1.50, $16.95. It can go home to you. For the low, low price. All going? right. We've got some wreaths. Oh, he's also an excellent artist. Well, he probably drew the Well, there you go. So this one is missing a ball, but you can't really tell because it's underneath here. I put that in the listing. I made this, and I used it for fall for many years. It was on my front door at the shop. And I've decided that this fall I'm coming up with something new. So I'm passing it along for uh, $29.95. And if I can find the ball, I will replace it. I it's put somewhere, it somewhere around here. I put it somewhere safe. But realistically, like, you can't see. It's underneath the flowers. And this thing was not cheap to make. These half balls aren't cheap. And then all the floral. 
but it's cute. This one is also on our front door for a oh, lot of Oh, I need to years. re-glue this flower right here, though. So I will do that. And we glued all these lemons on here. <laughs> this is not, this is not a lemon tree. It was a DIY video. Yeah, we have a video on making this, mm -hmm. I believe. It was a lot of work. And again, wasn't cheap to put together. But I need to come up with something new this summer. So I don't know where you priced on. it. That's why I was spinning it. Oh, it's right here. It's $28.95, although... This one is not going with it. We're gonna, we'll just sniff it right here because Jack took a bite out of that one. <laughs> Wait, if you want a let me show that. How old was he when he bit that? Oh, item's already sold. I'm gonna snip it off and fix that. Sorry, guys. Wait, where did the bite one go? <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. If you bought it and you want the bite, Jack bit lemon. Let me know. I will leave it on there for you, but. Look at that little mouth. <laughs> it had to have been a while ago. He doesn't have that many teeth anymore. No. Well, it, it Jack or Redrick, but I'm pretty sure that was Jack. Uh, Jack eats everything. Angela night. says, I remember that video. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you can't really see that it was bit uh, at the same time. It just looks like it's got a little dent. I'm going to well, show I this know, close, I know too. the truth of it. That one sold already. And then we've got one more item. Oh, I, I have. I need to show them the Ikea stuff. I left it in that. So this was 75 cents at the thrift store. One of Jamie's favorite thr thrifted items this week. The I guess I can leave it and then good. if they don't want it, they can snip it off. Yeah, they can snip their own It's one right off. on the edge. Okay, yeah. I think it's just kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> 75 cents at the thrift store. We're selling it for $9.95. It already sold. It's this is garland. pressed wood, but it looks carved. I love it. I love the little girl praying. It's just cute with her little kitty. Is Jack the one... Who used to chew his bunk bed? No, that was Redrick. Yeah, both of those he boys. He still chews on a lot of stuff. He's a beaver. He chews on Nerf bullets. I'm it's like, going to cost me a lot of money at the dentist is what it's going to do. I know. He's better than he used to be. Okay. All right. I picked this up just because I like the shape of it. It's prob it's cedar. It's probably for serving fish on or something. And it, I, it had probably a stand or something that was glued on. About two minutes with the sander, that'll be gone, and this will be a cool cedar cutting board that you can hang. Um, I was gonna make it for decor. Oh well, you can do that too. It was originally twenty four ninety nine from somewhere. I don't Hobby know where. Lobby. I recognize that sticker. Um, but it's gonna be twenty two ninety five after we fix it up. We're gonna rejuice it up for decor. I guess if somebody wanted to use it to like cut on, they could, but they'd have to email us. But my plan is to paint it okay. and put like some molds or something on it like on the front and make it look all cute all right the ikea stuff is only these two little things these... no 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 it's the whole set oh this is a whole set yeah so do you guys remember the video where i had all those herbs and everybody said they wouldn't live because they weren't in sunlight you uh, you guys were all correct actually they did pretty well what happened is we didn't water them often enough they didn't last however i replaced them with fake plants and they did beautifully so i've this got has all the hanging the, stuff all the sets <laughs> it comes with two of these two of the big buckets all the things to hang them with and the three bars you don't need three bars to hang all this but all those things for the low low price of 29.95 there you go uh, I'm gonna go. Run it was the... really expensive when I bought all these components. It was like a hundred bucks. I'm gonna so... grab a drop cloth real quick. And I don't know that IKEA still has them anymore. Help me, help you, help me get rid of some of my decor. All right. Oh, forty nine ninety five. Sorry, I thought that was a little cheap. Forty nine ninety five. I think a sticker from something else may have fallen on it. Actually, I know what it was. It was the wreath. Jamie, did you put this to this uh, tray on the thrift hall? Right. I haven't fixed it yet. Thank you, Caitlin, for correcting me. Is this on there or do I need to fix it? Oh, no, I didn't put that on there. We'll put it next week. That's going to be a beast to ship. I'll just have to charge accordingly. I know exactly which box to ship it in, though. You know the padded flat rate envelopes. It'll fit that. Sorry, there's something mm -hmm. behind the curtain we can't show you. It's for next week. All right, pick out what you want me to paint, and I will paint All it. All right. See if there's any questions. What do you want to paint? Yeah, what do you want to paint? Do you can you get the grapes off of that thing? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing would bring me greater pleasure than to paint this. Do you think I need to sand these leaves? All right, I'm gonna They're have to scooch like, that down though. I'm gonna move some stuff out of the yeah, way. Yeah, because you'll be way too close and elbowing me the whole time. What? It's a thing. 
It is not a thing. <laughs> you elbow. You just, for like 10 years, I slept with your knees in my back. Well, we learned that king size bed was necessary unless like, I can't control what happens while I'm unconscious. King size bed saved my life. All right. If you want to work on getting the grapes off, I think I, I'm just going to use the a grapes kitchen, of bra. kitchen screwdriver coming right up. Okay. What direction do I want to go with that? This one will I do. I think I just want to go. Oh, you know what? Nope. I'm going to oh, paint wow. it old That's school. That's like resin and hard. Oh, careful. Maybe put like something over it so it doesn't fling everywhere. I'm definitely going to paint something Queen Bee this week because that little bench that I painted sold. But I think I'm going to paint this in old school. All right. That's all off. I need to sand it a little. Is there any sandpaper over there? It is, is there really sandpaper? rough where the glue was. Here you go. Okay. Perfect. Multiple options. Start with old school. We gotta talk There's about the 80 one. grit. You know what I'm flipping through over here, Deb? I'm going to tease the people because they can hear me because I'm my mic. All the new IOD. Can you hear it? It's, it's crackly. like ASMR. It's all crackly. It's hiding right over here underneath your nose. Video coming Tuesday. If you've been waiting for the new spring IOD release, I think they've showed it. I can't remember if they showed it to the public or not. I think they have. I haven't been able to catch their videos. I've been relying on Jamie to They've watch They've been sneaky that. peeking. You know how they do. You know how they do. Now let's see. Do I have... Hopefully that sanding's not too loud. I apologize in advance. I'm just sanding. I don't have to sand these off, but I don't know what these little decals are. They look kind of like stickers. So I'm just so making So they used sure. to have rub-on transfers back in the day. Like the IOD sisters did not come up with that idea. I know because I have them, but they were little like this. And they came in little teeny tiny packs at the craft store and they were cheesy as all get up. What the IOD sisters did is they revolutionized using like larger format and they improved the application and the overall look at them all right but i'm done sanding that's that's in good the enough. early 90s i used a lot of these lots of floral ones there's still a little bit of glue there are you going to need that to be super smooth or are you what do you what's your plans debbie says she's proud of me for holding on to props for my shop <laughs> well we more and more we have some things that are not for sale i'm gonna leave those alone although this screws onto the walls Deb, can you scrape those off too yeah, because 990 people watching. Don't forget to share it out. Let's see if we can break a 1,000. You've taken seven drinks out of your cup in 15 minutes. What's in there? Uh, water. water. Seven drinks. That's very uh Now that's astute. eight. Yeah, no, you probably wish there was something more exciting, but it's, well, it does have crunchy ice in it. <laughs> crunchy ice water. That's like. How the is the IOD company? Who? Oh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. How long Debbie, do you know the been. answer to that question? When did they start? I know. I met them at the first boot camp five years ago, and they've at least been in the business a few years as IOD. Previous to that, they did like design work for fabric, which I think they still do. Um, and they were with Prima. This is like before they separated and started their own company, and that was like five years ago, six years ago. So eight, nine years. Don't quote me. You can put another mold on it. Do we have one that's ready made? That's already over there? I don't know. I'm like that is actually very wise. I'm gonna take some ugly grapes and let the record show that they came we out have... with grapes and they quickly retired grapes. I could have told them. Jeez, we didn't even hardly buy any of those, and we didn't hardly sell any of those. I bought like four um, because I was like, somebody might want them. Don't what? start painting that yet. I'm looking for the razor blade. I'm just going to scrape that glue. Okay. Well, I'll start painting this. Can you grab me another paintbrush? Yep. Oh, and I need a, um, a stencil brush. So I'm, This is part of the olive crest mold that we poured it out in resin. So if you go to IOD on our website, find all crest. This is one of the elements on there. We've already poured it and I'm just going to paint it in crinoline and set it aside. Then I'll paint the rest of my box and put this on the front. And then I don't know if I'm going to put a word on this or sometimes I like to just do like a little flower or just leave it as is. 
just a fun little element. Okay, put that off to the side. Make sure I got down all the cracks and then smooth it out. Okay, I painted that. I'm almost done. <laughs> Did I forget my old school? Maybe. I just Did talked I about it. I distract you? I got distracted by the new IOD. The yeah, new I'll IOD. You're over there crinkling it. So they can hear the IOD? Yep. Yes, we will have our it's video very, out on Tuesday with all the new products. It's a very whimsical release. Well, I'll say that. I feel like that's safe. I'm just see if there's any questions. Yeah, Kai, IOD was part of Prima. And then they parted ways because of some issues that I won't go into detail. But just say there was a lawsuit in IOD 1. Just saying. Public record. Okay, it's all ready. Go to town. Okay. Do we need to glue this on first? No. Okay. But and I do need you to open that can for me. It's okay. I got my kitchen screwdriver So D-Barb, she said that she got her liquid patina today in the mail. She ordered it from the website. She's like, and can Zeb open the can for me? I'm like, are you teasing me? <laughs> I, I'm pretty strong, but I don't have a lot of strength in my hands. I'm going to paint the bell. Okay. I like it. Oh, we did get to hear it ring. It's Recipe in French. How do you say recipe? Didn't I look up the word recipe once in French and it wasn't very... I think that was a different word. Yeah, it was a different word. Oh, but it was butterfly in French. No. Sheep? Sheep. Yeah. Sheep in French wasn't as pretty as I thought it would be. Basically mutton. <laughs> yeah, which is basically like, you know, what they call... I'm sure they make it sound good, but mouton. it reads like mutton. <laughs> it's a recipe. What color? I'm using old school. Also, I have the single worst French accent in the world, so... All right, so this is painted on the inside. I am not painting on the inside. So I'm going to just hold this down so I can just paint the ledge. Because this paint on here is very old, but I find that when you paint the inside of stuff, sometimes it makes it sticky, and I don't want it sticky inside my recipe box. I'm just going to paint the outside. Are we all out of white swan already? Oh, Kaylin did take French. She says they probably don't say the end. French language at the end, they usually get more nasal with the N. Mouton. Like that? Is that better? Right. I was excited because Eliza said she was going to take French, but now she's taking Spanish. I talked her into Spanish. I'm like, I wanted her to take French because I want to learn more French. The likelihood that she's going to take go to enough France. French to be able to matter. Like, I took French in high school. I can't speak any of it or even read it. You got you to gotta stick with that longer. Are you taking me to France this year? I mean, we've talked about it several times, but I don't really see an opening in our schedule until like next December. My niece is engaged, so we have a wedding. I have another niece that could be engaged shortly, which will make wedding number two. And then we're taking Odelia to Hawaii for graduation. So maybe in the fall we can get a shopping trip in for the shop. It really is important for us to go so that we have the inventory for our shop. So while it sounds fancy... It's also really good. I'm for excited business. that we're going to Hawaii with Odelia because I told her straight up, I'm like, if we go to England, I can't waste the flight over here and not shop like crazy for the shop. And the last time, the first time we went, it was like magical. And last time was magical too. It, it was, but, but it was also a lot of work. But it was like magical seeing things for the first time. Maybe we'll just go somewhere new in England. Like up yeah. north farther. Well, I want to go to Bath next time in the Cotswolds. Okay, because we went to the same to place twice, and we knew where all the flea markets were and a lot of the thrift stores mm -hmm. and the boot sales. So we were like every day, like 100 miles a day driving, finding all the stuff. And it it was a lot. <laughs> it was fun. So I, I want to go in the fall somewhere, like on a shopping trip. A lot of people have talked about, they're like, you guys birthday. need to... Yeah, for my birthday. It'll be your unbirthday. You're not turning 41. I sure am this year. Um, a lot of people want us to do shopping trips where they come with us, but here's the thing. I don't get to Europe often enough to also go with other people. So maybe when my kids get older, in about 10 years, when Jack is an adult. Jack will be an adult in 10 years. Then so. we can do shopping excursions. But until then, I, I don't have enough weekends, weeks. Until then, you'll have to come to our Airbnb that's behind oh, yeah. the shop with all of our uh, um, with our English country garden that we're going to try to pull off and and the sheep and the chickens and the cow. Harrington is moving. <laughs> he is officially so, moving. 
Yeah, he signed his lease. So that means that we get to remodel the cottage his lease and, and turn it into an Airbnb. And put his deposit down, I believe. I mean, I it's not like he's moving very far or I would be sad. He's, he's just going to be 15 minutes He's south moving of to us. Vineyard. So he's going to be right by uh, Caitlin lives down there in that area. So, yep. And I told me he has to come over for dinner on Sunday, which is about all the more he comes over now, anyways. Yeah, we don't. I mean, I was there all day today. I didn't see him. Well, I did see him once. He, he came, came and swept once. a bunch of dust onto Red or onto Jack, and then he left. <laughs> all right, I need to heat gun this. This is faded burlap. I think it's going to be really cool and cool, like a like a purpley color once I distress some of that blue through. And I'm going to stencil and put the uh, IOD mold on this. But Do you need I'll, me I'll to get you a stencil? A I already got one. we got about eight minutes. All right. We're getting there. Sorry, guys. Watching paint dry, not the most exciting thing. We all out of rags? We are not all out of rags. What are you looking for? I found a rag. I'm going to need the heat gun when you're done. Oh, IOD is a year younger than DIY. Is that what you're saying, Debbie? On that note, how long has DIY been around? I don't know because it I'd have to go back she, and watch your videos. Before started manufacturing it herself, it was manufactured by another company for a few years. Oh, Debbie is talking about Annie Sloan now. Yeah, I don't use Annie Sloan. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just not my jam. I'm waiting on the heat gun. We got rid of our other one. It was just dying. It wasn't even really blowing. But it is handy to have two, so we probably need to get another one. I won't be sad if you go longer. <laughs> it's about eight minutes. I have had like a super, we've had, we both for the last it's two been days, a week. it's been crazy. Our kids, Redrick had his first camp out with the youth group at church. So we had to get him ready for that. We have been shopping for Valentine's Day for our girls because they both have Valentine's. Um, also I hemmed a dress today for sweethearts for Odelia and I don't sew that often. Zeb helped out. Um, and then we had to buy all the things to make the corsages and boomiers. We had to take the pictures for sweethearts. I'm just tired. It's been a long, we did get the chicken while. coop built up. The birds are in there. We talked about that a little earlier. That video will be on the Jamie and Zeb channel. If you're not subscribed, consider going and checking that out. We've been doing some fun stuff over there. Right now, we uh, we do so many videos here. It's We're only one video a week over there. It may go more, especially in the summer when we're doing a lot of things with the animals and uh, gardening, lots of gardening stuff coming up. We bought seeds, what, Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I feel like it was Thursday. Thursday, we bought seeds, so we're ready to get our starts going. We got to get that going sooner. We won't have tomatoes until... Oh, shoot. I don't know. August or September. Yeah, last year was later. <laughs> All right, so I'm using a stencil here. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i flip it around. I have to have it facing me to do it correctly. I'm using crinoline, and this is the Transferware Borders Pack that just came out from JRB, and we sell it at jamierayvintage.com. A lot of my retailers also carry this, so if you have a local JRB retailer, check with them. If they don't have the new stencils in, and you want them, just let them know because they can still order them and we can get them shipped out to them. Yeah. The cool thing about the stencils is um, until we discontinue them, they are available all the time because they're print on or cut on demand by yes. our manufacturer. In the USA. So we don't have like shipping delays with them. And Well, I shouldn't say we don't have shipping delays. Occasionally the post office is real extra. But for the most part, it's not like we're running out of stencils. They're pretty solid. We didn't have any like months and months and months where there was no There's like stencils. a situation happening in the UK right now. Well, I don't know because somebody else from the UK I was talking to said they didn't know about it. So I got to check my sources. Maybe. Shipping. Because I ordered a dress. <laughs> I have a brand. Maybe they're just trying to cover. A brand of dresses I like from the UK. It's called On the Prairie. They're kind of spendy, but they're well-made dresses and they're, 
I think Ethiopia, they're ethically made anyways. They're really cool. And I ordered one and they let me know that there had been some problems with Royal Mail. They were sending them FedEx. So when you are stenciling, back to stenciling, make sure you're offloading your paint to where your brush is almost dry. Make sure you're using a quality stencil brush like the JRV stencil brushes and good stencils. That will help you get a nice crisp design if you're having leakage underneath your stencil, you're either not holding it down enough, but more than likely it's because you've got too much paint on your brush. I think I'm not going to paint the inside of this. That's hot. <laughs> I knew it was hot and I grabbed it anyway. All right. But I don't think the inside will really be seen. And once I distress it, it's going to match a little bit anyway. It's going to be... You're going to get some of that green coming back through. I don't know where you're headed with that. I'm just distressing it, and then I'm going to wax it. And All I'm right. Gonna, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, call it a night on that. Do another border on the front, and then I'll put that olive crest mold. When you're done with that, would you mind grabbing the glue? Yeah. Which kind of glue do you want? Construction oh, adhesive. Cat. How many watchers or viewers do we have? 963. Oh, we lost some. Well, it admit, is like, admit, some people on just, the East Coast, it's like 11 o'clock. Some at people night. are just here for the junk, not the painting. Well, and actually, it's 1130 on the East Coast. So we have 963 people that really want to see how this Grapes of Wrath recipe box turns out. So 963 is between Facebook and YouTube because we stream simultaneously on both platforms. So if you're looking at the number, and you're like, Jamie is inflating a little bit. I promise I am not. It doesn't take very much paint at all to stencil, so keep that in mind. You don't need to pour out a bunch of paint when you're going to stencil. I took too much off where I didn't want it, so just a little paint back over the top, little heat gun, and voila. I might take it around the side, but I'll do that when we're not live anymore. I'm going to go grab the... Are you getting some wax? Did you yeah. show them up close? I'm going to wax this. Oh, I'm going to put gonna that on. It? And then next week I'll clear wax it all and I'll probably dark um, dark wax the little I feel like that down. makes sense, right? We've got the green coming through, a little bit better distressed. That's not just painted on. We actually rub the paint off instead of trying to take the distress with paint. Over the I, feel top. Like that, I feel like that needs clear and dark wax. Yep, though. that's where we're going. I'm going to go get <gasps> the clear wax like right I'm now. It's like I'm in your brain. All right. Zeb, you put the screw in here. Oh, and the... And the drill is at in the barn from making building the chicken coop. Can you do it with a? I can do it manually. All right. Good old fashioned screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to heat on the back of this so I can lay it flat. And I need to paint the bottom of it anyways, but I'll. Do Someone that sent me a really cool little twisty deal that you can just put in the tops of these instead of a screw. Oh. Oh yeah, we got the they link didn't for that. Send, they sent me the link. Yeah. I haven't tried one out yet. Okay, there you go. Ready right. to go. I just got to finish heat gunning the back of this so I can lay it flat. Okay, I'll sit here and smile at him while you do that over there. Don't you need to clear wax and dark wax Yeah, that? but I don't want to leave no one on camera. You're off camera. Oh, I'm right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've definitely been on here an hour. Did it go again? Okay. Yeah, we're going to be a minute or two late. You going to paint the bottom when everything else is dry? Yeah. Well, I'm going to paint the bottom now. Okay. okay, so I'm going to glue this on. It actually like perfectly fits over the center decal here. Didn't plan that when I designed the stencil, but taking advantage of that. So we're just using the construction adhesive. You can also use uh, Debbie's favorite Eileen's tacky glue, or you can use quick and thick construction adhesive or wood glue. We just like this. Um, if you have a hard time with um, squeeze guns like this, you could just use a little bottles it's just cheaper to buy it in the big do you tube. have a wax brush anywhere where's the wax brush at a wax brush yeah in the drawer no oh the clear wax brush mm -hmm. it's in the drawer you just have to use your yeah, do i gotta really dig no it's you can't you gotta remember i don't have mom eyes you don't have mom eyes oh i found it i found it with my dad eyes you found it with your dad eyes that's good let me just make sure <laughs> this is that's a joke around here because when he can't find stuff, I'm like, use your mom eyes because you know how moms always have to find everything. Does that look straight to you? It looks straight to me. Well, well, I can't tell if you're moving it around. 
Yeah, that's good. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to paint the bottom. That's probably all you're going to see tonight because I'm getting tired, but I will stencil the sides of this and then clear wax it. And then I'm going to dark wax my little mold in the middle here. All right. Do you think this 75 cent box has been upgraded? Let me know. I hope so because I sold it for more than that. What did I sell for like 19.95? We, those of you that have been here for a while know that we buy stuff for crafting supplies. So to me, when I'm at the thrift store, I'm not saying like, oh, what does it look like? I'm like, what could it be? And so much cheaper and better for the environment to buy my crafting supplies secondhand and then transform them. I will distress it a little bit too. Thank you, Caitlin. She just dropped the link. Um, Dad would holler, I need a uterus, meaning he needed another set of eyes, Esther said. <laughs> <laughs> and Caitlin just dropped the link to this transferware pack. It comes with four different borders in the pack. All right. Everybody likes it. Sweet. Thank clear you. Wax. I'm going to pull some of that or dark wax, clear wax on there, then the dark wax, pull in some of the dark wax back off. Nothing's been cured, nothing's dry. I'm not I'm wiping super like hard because I don't want to take all that wax off. I'm going to add a little more down here. It took too much off. I am going to leave these two holes here. So in case somebody wants to um, screw it into the wall, they can, which is why I also painted the bottom. There we go. That's a little better. Sorry. I'm, try I'm trying the not to. The box is adorable. Thank I'm you. I'm trying not to ring it. Okay. Try not to ding it. Um, let me oh, bring that looks close. better with the dark and the clear wax. I yeah. like it. And the color will lighten up a little bit once the wax dries all the way. Okay, here it is. There's the detail on there. Love it. Love Cast it. iron under this. It's a great little bell. I mean, you can tell it's loud. I'm like trying not to make it ding and it's super loud still. If you guys want to buy the paint products or any of the items you saw here tonight, visit jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, share it out. Every week we are picking a couple of our friends to share it out and sending a thank you. Um, and be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Bye guys. Thanks for joining us tonight and we'll see you next week. Catch you Monday. Most likely. <laughs>